fucking idiot. This needs to stop now. Hi, this is Tom Hypesar, uh, editor of the podcast. Um, last couple of nights ago, uh, we did record this podcast, and uh, I've been sitting on it because we've been trying to rework the ending. Uh, reason being is I forgot to hit unmute myself when I had went to the bathroom at some point, um, and you know I just I just fucked up. So we lost about maybe 20 minutes of the podcast, which is why you know it's a little bit shorter than the rest. Uh, but yeah, we will record something, me and John, where we just talk straight about anime for maybe 30, 40 minutes or so to make up for it. Uh, that'll be released sometime this week, question mark, uh, depending on when John's available and when you can record. So again, deeply apologize for that, and uh, I, I made myself look like an idiot in the beginning. So, yep, uh, just hope you guys enjoy this episode. Welcome everybody to Community Cast. We're going to start this podcast off with me with our similar segment. How we're going to start this shit? How are we going uh, to start this, John? You're doing it wrong. Oh fuck! I don't know. I'm, you I'm just afraid. you just ask how are we going to start this. How are we, how we going to how are we going to start this? I, try, I tried. Tori. Okay, uh, so this is how this is how it's going to go. John, you are go. Okay, you and Ryan are going to be a couple. Wait, and who's top? Who's bottom? I'm on top. Obviously. Ryan wants to take it to the next level, and you're not sure if you're ready. Oh. Oh. This but is... Ryan doesn't want to commit. Go. Wait, wait, wait hold wait, on. Wait, I want to take want... it, but I don't want to commit. What? Yeah, that you know. Sense, Tori. Who doesn't want to commit? Me or two? He... Oh, fine. He wants to have sex with you, but he doesn't want to marry you. Oh. Oh, that kind of next level. Oh. See, I just assumed we were already fucking. I, I assumed, too, we were fucking already. You know? Yeah, like, I thought, you know, like, like, I mean, look at me and John. We're both sexy bitches. We'd be all over each yeah, other, I mean, like, I mean, day one. I mean, I mean, look at this ass, Tori. Look at yeah, that. look at that ass. Mm. We can slap that ass. <clears throat> ah! Stop. I actually felt that on my ass. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, harder. Harder. Please. <laughs> okay, let's start, let's start this shit. I guess. I don't know. So, we don't, I don't want to commit, but I also want to take it to the next level. And see, John, will you marry me, but not marry me? John, will you will, will you suck my dick? Will, will you take it in the ass, but not fuck, but not take it in the ass permanently? <laughs> <laughs> Can you take this ring? It's not a wedding ring. It's a cock it's ring. A cock ring. That, that's 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 the story. That's the next. That's my next book. Will you take this ring? But, not, but it's actually a cock ring. <laughs> Will you that's take my, this that's... ring? But it's not a wedding ring. Oh, the amazing a... sequel to uh, Go Big or Go Home: <laughs> <laughs> The Fredwood take... Story. Will you take this ring? Oh no, it's an onion ring. That's the story of my life. Onion yeah. cock ring. No. Okay, Ryan, start this shit. It sounds like it'd be... I already did start this shit. Oh. I don't... When did you start this shit? I wasn't ready for when it. I... You're never ready, John. I don't even know why I want to go to the next level but not marry you. Let you, me get this... you are never ready for anything. <laughs> I wasn't ready for you stuck your finger up my ass, and I still let you do it. Oh, you were ready for that since day one. Oh. Because it happened that night. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I just, I just don't want to fuck you, Ryan. I just, I, look, <laughs> Ryan. If we're gonna, if I we're gonna get, want... if we're, if we're gonna get, I don't this... want to fuck you. I just want your hand up my ass. Look, I do. If we're gonna get to some fucking, what is happening? If we're gonna oh get my to God, some, let's fucking... just. This is no, 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 no. If we're gonna get to some fucking Ryan, like some okay. hardcore, down dirty, on the knees cool. fucking, mm-hmm. you gotta get me a ring. If you want, you better put a ring on it. Okay, if this, you is, want, this, is, you this is a terrible start. On it. This, this is, is a terrible, terrible start. start. Yeah, but that's thing. par for the core for the commuter cast. Welcome. 
Do the Welcome to the community cast. Fuck. Tori, good... Tori, good job. Are you proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. Yeah. Next time, next time, let's just put this on. Don't give Tori responsibilities board. Thank you. That's why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Welcome to the community. Like onion, re- onion cock rings. Onion cock rings. Welcome to the community cast, everybody. Episode ninety one or ninety. Ninety one. Ninety. Oh my God, we're closer, closer to the one hundred episode featuring Wooly Wolves. We're not gonna get Wooly Wolves. We're not. We're not rich oh, enough. My we're bad. Four. Um, we're here to waste another hour or so of your day. I'm your host, Black Naffle One Hundred and One. Uh, with me is Tom Hypster. Hey, I'm Tom. He just woke up, so yeah, a little sleepy. He still got crusty in your eye. He's a little sleepy, peepee. A little sleepy in your eye, Tom. Wipe it off. Right there. No, the other eye. There you go. We also got uh, Mama Donovan. Hello. You got That's Tom it. sleepy in your eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then we've all and we've also got uh oh wait, no, Tori has to say your shit. Say your say your shit, Tori. I'm sorry. I am the proprietor of Mama's Milky Mansion. Good. In the Texas steampunk will draw. No, she dropped that shit. Oh, good, because I still don't know what that means. I, I don't either. Tori, don't explain it. Uh, we also got uh, the, the the Mister with the Best Fister, uh, Ryan. Oh, God, I don't want that title. That's your title. The Mr. No, Mr. it's not. I, I'm dropping that title today. The, the Mr. Fister, Silver Fister? No! <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, we're here to kill no hour of your day. Or uh, so. Tom, or so. Tom, since you're still waking up, how was your week? Wow, gee, thanks. Start with me. <laughs> we gotta wake you up somehow. No, we don't. I, yes, we do. I, up, I scratched my butt, and then I went back to sleep. I but but Tom, Tom. And then you could have, like, <laughs> just done the podcast without me while I slept. But, but Tom, before you start talking about your week, how would you feel if I did this? I play Contradiction. That game's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I had a good time with it. Um, I, su- I saw you lose your shit a- after a while in that game. Because it it's, it's... It's a really fun game. And I like it a whole lot. There's only one thing I really don't like about it. Like, if I had to complain about one thing about this game, is the UI sucks. Yeah. Like, it's... It's, it's not even bad. It's terrible. It's simple. It's... Tom, you just, all you have to do is cheat, Tom. Just cheat. I'm not going to I'm not gonna cheat. Dude, he won't get that achievement if he cheats. Just cheat. He gots to have them achievements. Yeah, I did it without cheating the whole thing. And I was smart. I did my big brain. Wait, did you already beat it? Yeah, I beat it already. Oh, no. Oh. I missed that. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to be so short. But, like, I was already... I think I was already at, like, 30% when I left. And then I finished the rest. Okay. I didn't know it. I didn't know it would go so quick, but uh, yeah, did that. Spoil- Spoilers: Who killed who, who? Who killed who? I killed you. Oh no! What? John's dead. John's dead. Everybody. I'm dead. What? Yeah, I killed you. It Wait, was what? me, Dio. Oh, you're, you're banned. Um. Okay. What else, Tom? What else did you do? Uh. I don't, I don't really remember what it Before you move on, can I just say how the the thing I love the most about Contradiction is that everyone plays their role like, you know, like as if they were a part of a serial murder movie. They play the role serious. But the main character, the guy you play as, is silly as fuck. He is, bit of, well, he is fantastic. Well, like the like the only two people who were really good in that were like you said, like uh, Jenks and uh, I forget his name, Ryan. Those are the only two people that are really good in that game. Which um, one? Like, oh, no, no, I love Ryan's dad. Uh, I mean, he, like, he was like so stereotypically British that all he needed in front of him was like a cup of Earl Grey and he'd be shitting the English flag. Yeah, and the like, queen. that's probably why I didn't like him. He's just too generic where I was just like, yeah, I've seen this character before. I'm kind of like... Like, it's it, it just like with Ryan, he, he overreacted and he did a lot of more hand motions and that, because that's what the character was, but like... 
everyone else is like boring like i i guess like spoilers like It's Rebecca, and, like, I think she plays her part well in the fact that, you know, you really don't see that it's her the whole game. Oh, whoa, really? It was yeah. Rebecca? Yeah. She she fucking got her drunk, and she pushed her into the lake because she thought that she was the one cheating on, uh, cheating with her husband. Oh, no! It was, it was really Emma. Emma was fucking oh, boring, too. Well, yeah. Like, Emma I mean... and, uh... I mean, the only, like, other than Ryan, the only interesting character was James. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. But, like, this fucking conspiracy theorist guy. Well, no, I mean, like, the, the thing is, is, like, the only one thing that James is good for is moving the story towards, like, the next kind of arc. But, like, other than that, like, James was just, like, every time he went to him, he was like, oh... I don't know. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, that's I, I might have known. The whole thing is he's the a fucking fight. bias, man. Yeah, and that's about it. That's all he has is like, like okay, well, I guess I. Every time I went to him, because I asked, I asked, we'd go on a line every time I got a new piece of information. It, it was like I get to him, and it's just like, well, I get, I bet you a hundred dollars, he's gonna say no. Should I? And fucking says it, so it was kind of it was kind of irritating with him. But like other than that, like the game is fine, fine, it's fun, and I recommend that you buy it or buy it for a friend or buy it for a friend. Yes. Um, I watched well, I watched some anime, but I'll get to that like when, when John wants to talk about the anime. But aside from that, that's about it. Uh, Tori, how was your week? Because we never hear from you as much because, you know. You're, not cool. you're an asshole, Joe. Because you're not cool. Wow. Why well, you gotta be so rude? I was saying that to Tom, not, not her. Why well, you gotta be so rude? Tom's super cool. Because I'm the rude, I'm the rude, lewd dude. Uh, uh, that should be my slogan. The rude, no. dude, lewd dude. No. Yeah. I'm gonna trade, trademark that shit. Tori, how was your week? My week was pretty good, although I had to do a lot of work, not just like at my job, but my mom needed a lot of help because she's a high school counselor and the school year is going to be starting relatively soon. And so she needed help with some of her work. So I was helping her with that. But I also, okay, my family got HBO back on our TV. Oh so that means God. that my, to catch up with Game of Thrones. And we get my mom gets to watch all the cool movies because so far all we've had is Epics, which has really lame movies, but HBO has the cool movies. I watched uh, Hacksaw Ridge the other day, and that's actually a really good movie. Yeah, Andrew see, Garfield did a great job. See, what you need to do, Tori, is get your parents to double down and just buy C Cinemax so you can just watch some porn and just flick that bean. Yeah, Showtime it's... for that. Oh, Showtime is porno? Yeah, I said it. Done. What? Time has uh, I'm Dying Up Here, which has Sebastian Stan in it. Oh. So just crank up that fan, Tori, and just go at it, girl. Get the lotion. You need lotion? Ugh. Just... Okay, I'm editing that it's, out. Is, is that what it sounds like? I'm editing that out. What the fuck was that? Good Wait, was lord. That yeah, that was that was Tori. Was all Tori. Oh. She was prepping that cucumber up. Oh. Cucumber? <laughs> she was prepping that cucumber up with KY jelly. Oh. <laughs> Tom, keep that keep that sound effect in, thank you. Um that, okay, rough. okay. I'll break the, yeah, some clip has a the suspension of disbelief. It was suntan lotion. That doesn't matter. started hearing that from Town's Pocket. Oh, sorry. I've got a text message. Okay. It's like, excuse me? 
<laughs> just, no, just go. I'm gonna go meet Dave. I'm gonna go meet Dave Hankin, the host, the, the guy who runs Sunshine. And be like, hold on, I got a call from my buddy Fred. How you doing, Fred? Just have that play in the background. <laughs> oh, you know Fred? Oh, hi, hi, Dave. Anyways, um, what else? Story? You got you got a you got hobo. So I got hobo. So now I can finally watch Westworld. That's a good show. The sense. It's a good show. It's yeah, good. It's a good show. I'm glad that you like it. Because you're normally pretty critical. So if you like it, then it's got to have some No, quality. you can I say mean, John fucking hates everything. I, I mean, I do. I, I have reason to hate everything because I was just raised to hate. But it's you, an okay you show. You have taste in everything. No, I don't. Yeah. John, I can, when we get to anime, we'll... we'll... Yeah, no, when we get I to never, anime. I never said that anime was good. I just said it was interesting. Uh-huh. You said it was like Gao Chan, which is good. Look, I understand. I have, but I have continue, problems. Tori. Well, let's see. I didn't get to go to the movie theaters this week since um, I don't know. There, I'm really not finding a lot of movies I want to see now. Not until uh, Atomic Blonde comes out this coming look, Friday. If you didn't see War for Planet of the Apes, uh, look, I want to go see that movie. Yeah, because you like terrible things. I don't like the monkeys having human-like faces. It creeps me out, oh, man. Oh, Tori! Okay, Tori, let's take a step back. You know that ch- we, we descend from chimps, right? No. No. We, talking about? we, we, we did descend. not descend from chimps. We have we, we share a common ancestor with chimps. We Before share chimps, com- there was some, you know... Missing human-like, me. chimp-like, you know, hybrid thing. Well, and then we have, have... You know what? Different kinds of descendants. Tori, it's fine. Just it's it's you need to stop. They have human faces. Big whoop. It's a good movie. Is it though? You don't. Like, it's kind of like you know how you just don't like furries. You don't like Zootopia because animated furries. Just no, because that movie was just terrible. No, that movie was good. You just don't like furries, man. Look, well, I, I feel the same way about like monkeys with human-like expressions. Chimps, not monkeys. Get it right. Same thing. No. Monkeys have tails. Yeah. Chimp. These chimps. These are chimps and gorillas. These are chimps and harambes. Please. I'm eating. Chimps <sighs> with human-like expressions. Can you replace uh, that word with banana? I'll, I'll. You know, I'll do it one better. I'll just delete it entirely. <laughs> um. But banana. No. Anyways. Um. You so you didn't see a movie this week, at all. Anything else you did? Did you play any games? Did you watch it? Did you do anything fun? Did you read any comics? Uh, let's see. Comics, comics, comics. Oh, well, okay. I am reading some comics that my friend lent me. I'm reading Ghost, uh, Ghost Rider title. But it's the Ghost Rider that was happening when the Fear Itself story arc was occurring. So it's a new Ghost Rider. Is, it's it, not... the, is it the girl Ghost Rider? It's the girl Ghost Rider. So I'm checking oh, yeah. that out. And oh, yeah. She's she, was, like... she was terrible, the Ghost Rider. It's like a Nicaraguan, uh, I guess. Yeah, spo- spoiler, but not spoiler. She doesn't last very long because her run was not good. This is like her only book, but I'm going to finish it to the end. Although I did like how like the minute, the minute the bad guys see that it's a girl, they like have to say something about it. Like, oh, look, it's a girl. Hey, hey, sweet cheeks, I want to jump your bones. Or at least one did. And then the other guy's just like, I intend to kill you. And his friend got mad at him for not making a sexist comment. He's just like, I intend to kill you. Is that the best you have? I was like, well, I do intend to kill her. So that's kind of my thing. All right. It starts with Johnny Blaze being his usual, like making a deal with a stranger who's like, what if I could get you everything you wanted? What if I could get rid of your curse? It was like, okay, but what's the catch? There are no ca- Oh, he's Southern, so it was like, okay, but what's the catch? So it's like, oh, okay, well then, like, you got a deal. And then, boom, everything's terrible in true, you know, Johnny Blaze fashion. Trying to just... Uh, oh, I got some new books that I haven't read yet, but I found... The original comic where Steve Rogers became Nomad. Okay. It was, nomad. It was 
that's his um when he gives up being captain america he becomes nomad he becomes a man without a country and that's when he has the sexy v-neck costume with the cape it's super sexy i, I guess ryan can but wear they, a cape let's see i suppose he could I also got, uh, oh, I got the Dark Avengers, which is... Oh, uh, that was a terrible run. That's when Norman Osborn uh, is head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Avenger. after you Civil Hammer. War. You mean Hammer? He... Get it right. So he has his own Avengers. His Hawkeye is actually Bullseye. Uh, his Wolverine is, is Dokken. Hold on, is it really called the Dark Avengers? Yeah, it's called the Dark Avengers. Man, comic books are fucking stupid. It could have been called the Black Avengers. Wait, never mind. That doesn't work. <laughs> There's enough people to make I, Black Avengers. You, you know what? Just get... You know what? Black I, Panther. I take back Falcon, that scene. Wait, Tom Knight, on. Monica Rambeau. Tom, what did you do? No, I was saying, hold on, John. Remember our talk? No. Oh. Look at your checklist. Is it racist? No, I was gonna say no. Is it I thought it, it's not racist. I'm just saying when I said Black Avengers, I'm thinking no. It when I say Black Avengers, it's probably gonna, it has to be an all black team of Avengers, and then and and instead of Dark Avengers, so I'm just gonna stop myself. Okay, there you go. Well, it could be an all black team of Avengers because you have There's, you know, like I said, Falcon, Black Corey, Panther. Not, okay, it's two, Luke Cage, Storm, and that's it. You don't have a lot of black people in Marvel. C I mean, Knight, Monica Rambeau. Vanilla. There's not a lot of black people in Marvel. You have the new, you have the new uh, Iron no. Man. Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Miles Morales. Yeah, Miles Morales. Black people, John. You yeah. just actually have to open it's... your eyes. Uh, don't See you, don't you go there, bro. You. Don't you go there. I'm just saying that now that no one really cares about the characters. But anyway, I I don't see color. Are you Fred? Are you, are you colorblind? Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I treat all people equally. I hate them all. <laughs> There's a few excerpts from this comic where everyone is just being like crazy, to, where everyone's being like, you know, assholes to each other. And it just has this very always sunny in Philadelphia vibe to me. So I'm like, I need this book. <laughs> I need to check out this book. And I found it at half price during their 50% off sale. So I was very happy, and so now it's mine, and I get to see how always sunny it is. My week. Ryan, how was your week? Oh, sorry, Rian. Rian, how was your week? Rian? Rian. Okay. Um, my week was all right. I worked a lot of the week. Uh, during the week, I played a combination of Risk of Rain and Dead Cells, which Dead Cells is a pretty good game. It's another... Did you yell it? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, another roguelike, or roguelite, however you call it, a Metroidvania game. As It's pretty fun. I enjoy it. And then over the weekend, I played... Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And today I bought uh, Final Fantasy twelve uh, Zodiac Age, which is I'm enjoying a lot. So yeah, that's... Oh, and... Uh, oh wait, that can be safe for anime segment. Okay, yep, that's my week. Uh, it's, it's a boring week because it's mostly filled with me working. E. That's life, though. We need to make that yeah. money, Ryan. Yeah, but uh, next week is um, it's a short order week, so I won't. I will have more free time to do shit. At least that's the theory. You say that now. Game theory. Thanks for watching. Uh, a get job out theory. Get out of here. Uh, my week. Let's see. I broke my phone. I uh -huh. get a new one. Did you get a new one? Uh, y y y yes and no. Oh, I got that, a new phone, but it's not a different. It's not a. It, I got a new phone, but it's not a different phone. It's the same phone. So okay, okay. So it's it it's new. Uh, what else did I do? I went to Dave and Buster's again. I finally redeemed the cards. From the Damn it! We're supposed Yay! to save that. 
What? You were supposed to save it. Don't worry. I can get more. Mo I can put more money in there. It's fine. On. No, it's it's fine. I I can I get money. Special credit that you two are supposed to share together. No, it's fine, Tom. I mean, I love you, Tom. Please, no. But I was with a girl, and I needed to go to Dave and Buster's and impress her Damn. with my big dick. What about bros before hoes? Yeah, but you won't. Okay, you won't let me touch your dingle, so it's fine. There's no bros right now unless we touch dingles. Rude. Rude. Um, I went to Dave and Buster's, and I from what from our last time. I just realized the menu is so fucking terrible. Yeah, Dave and Buster's is pretty bad though. I okay, uh, fuck f fuck me for not being hungry and not wanting a cheeseburger with chicken strips and like all this shit. Oh, no. I just wanted a, I just wanted a cheeseburger, but they don't have that on menu. They have the, the at the very least they have a double cheeseburger, and I go. Yeah, why don't I get a double? I don't want a double cheeseburger. I just want a single, but I don't want fucking sliders. You should go to main event sometime. It's better. I've been to the, I've been to the main event, but it's also very pricey. You know, check cheese. I remember. I still remember when we went to Dave and Buster for food, and that was just yeah. the worst. It was. And it, it, it was poor really Sean, it got so shafted. It was a, a very upsetting. I can't wait to take Sean back to Dave and Buster's. Good. He will. He will just <laughs> and I'm like, what punch you thing? in the dick. No, I really want to take Sean and just like do the redemption arc where he gets he gets his food. <laughs> Not only did his get did he get his food late, but they offered him a salad as compensation and the for salad, the late food. And the and salad was yellow as fuck. It was like the worst. Um I went over there to name Busters, but yeah. I, I spent my card points. Uh I went there with a girl. Who who said she could beat me in any game we played? And she did. Proceeded to beat you in any game. Uh, I, I I just want to say for the record that out of ten games, she only beat me in one because I suck at the game like terribly. Uh huh. I should tell her, hey, you know what? You should challenge John to Facebook games. He'll lose every oh, time. Oh, you bitch. It, well, I mean, there's no proof that you won all these games. I yeah. mean. I mean, there is, because I was right. I mean, I still don't believe you, you like, beat that last level of that one arm wrestling or whatever the fuck game. Oh, well, we have to that. There's, I'm convinced there's, that machine was proof. broken. Oh, there's video I'm, proof. Well, I'll I'm do it again. I'm convinced that machine was actually broken. I'll do it again. It's it's probably David Buster's, and I'll beat because it again. Because John, uh, John here is notorious for being bad at everything. I I'm good at video games. I mean, I mean I no. I mean, I am. You were bad um, at For Honor. You're bad at Street game, Fighter. Yeah, but look at Four Honor. It's not. It doesn't exist anymore. So I mean, you, you got your ass kicked by Tom, and I kick his ass. So I mean, I mean, shush. Anyways, um, <laughs> I mean, the only game I sucked at was a Guitar Hero, but it's because I can't play fucking Guitar Hero. I hate that game. I don't have. That's, yeah, it's either like it or you don't. I, I know I don't like. You never play the the hardest mode, the extreme. Yeah, yeah. you got to be like a super pro to play that. Or 12. Or like, I don't know. Hyped up on like 12 oh, cocaine. cans of Mountain Dew. Or cocaine. No, cocaine is bad for you. Every 10 year old <laughs> pool party, there was there was always Guitar Hero set up to the TV. I really thought you were going to say every 10 year old party there was going to be cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every ten-year-old's party there is cocaine. Every ten-year-old, obviously, party. cocaine. Like these ten-year-olds are rocking. Like they're just like the fuck is that one guy, Scarface. They're just fucking lining Tony up. Montana. Like, That's they're it. fucking a setting of lines of coke and just snorting it and just fucking spinning the entire night. I lost my fidget uh, spinner. I can't find it. You have a fidget spinner, Tom? What the fuck? I John, this is the guy who has like a million of them. I don't. I, I swear I don't. I only have like five, but I'm gonna sell but, them. But you do. But I don't use it. it but you still own it. I uh, yeah, but I didn't buy them. That's the point. They were free. Mm -hmm. Still own them. I'm not like you guys are using the spins for for Jesus. What? Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I went to uh, Dave and Buster's. That was an experience and a half. The food sucked. Also, would you eat something called spicy bang bang shrimp? I wouldn't eat. Yes, that. I would eat that in a heartbeat. Tori, you no bullshit, Tori, because you like 
Oh, it has spicy sauce, and I can't eat spicy, and my tummy hurts, and I hate Here's everything. Spicy. I'm slowly getting used to it. Oh, oh my fucking god. I, I, I quit. Uh, Ryan, would you eat something called spicy bang bang shrimp? Sure, I love shrimp. Okay, yeah. I I, I think the anything with the name. name I think anything with the name spicy bang bang sounds like a, a terrible time. Sounds um, sounds like something from Outback Steakhouse. Let's see. I got Final Fantasy twelve the Zodiac Age. Oh, I lost spicy my spicy bang bang shrimp. Oh, you want a spicy bang bang shrimp? You know what I mean. Put that shrimp with the bobby. Gonna, you know, we're fuck. Gonna stop right now. Just fuck, fuck you. Just here. you. You're right. They would call it prawns. You want a spicy bang bang prawn? You want to go fuck in the bobby? You know what I'm saying? I'm. Just, I'm stop. <laughs> Um, aside from that, this is annoying. I'm gonna take a video of me spraying John in the face with a water bottle. <laughs> I'm bringing a water bottle, you, just in case you didn't know that. You, you, you can't stop me, Tom. There's gonna be a lot of shit going down to this con, and you're not gonna stop me. Like just you're gonna, gonna spray you with water. I mean, you're gonna be very at, wet this that weekend. Oh, at not this in con. a good way. At this con, you're gonna find me in the room with like with just my boxers on, watching fuck, watching look at. Never mind, I'm not gonna incriminate myself at all for what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna go there. Just, there, there may be a bag of white powder and a straw. And you're a not gonna go there, but I'm, I'm not gonna go there, but I'm gonna go there. Excuse me. Exactly. Exactly. There might be me watching a certain anime called Kodomo no Jinkan with only boxers on. I'm just saying at, at the con. Um, yeah, but aside from, aside from that, my week, I, I didn't do much. I got some video games, played uh, Final Fantasy XII, and that's it. I mean, I didn't do much. I worked. Yay. Tori, that did. costume looks fuck. that co pardon my French, but that costume looks fucking stupid. It is stupid. That's, it is, I know, exactly. It is 100% stupid. <laughs> That is why there's a 300% chance that I need to see Chris Evans wear it. He's not going to wear it. What, what What? idiot in his right mind would make Chris Evans make wear that, aside from you? I'm going to wear it in the actual movie itself. I just need to, to wear it in like some stupid promo material. He's not going to wear it. Okay, let's think... just jump into it. No, go ahead into our news or our you know we latest have things that are happening news. including comic con which happened this weekend i didn't get to go because i can't afford to go to california well no tori let's take a step back it's not good it's not good that you couldn't afford it it's because you would you wouldn't leave your house to go to california would bullshit uh. Bullshit. I wouldn't want to go to Comic Con. There's Tori. too many people there. Tori, bullshit. Because every time when I said let's go to Austin, you're like, I can't leave the house, John, to go to Austin. Is Austin want to to quite a ways away from San Antonio? Austin's only an hour away, but Tori would go to California. I'd go to a is... stupid con. It wasn't even a con. I said let's go get lunch. In Austin. You want her to drive an hour for lunch? No, okay. One, Tori doesn't drive. I would have to drive. And two, it was some dope ass ramen. So you know, fuck off. Oh, is it that ramen place that we went yeah, to? The oh, really good. No, was... no, 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 no. Not that ramen place. There's another ramen place in There's Austin. There's a better ramen place. Like really good ramen, but Tori wouldn't want to go because. And I quote. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So t you would have to. So you would drive. Oh, that's a lot of driving. I would drive an hour. No, no, no. Because Austin has super good food. I would drive an hour out to hit up five spots in Austin. That you can't find in San Antonio. But wait, but you live in Brownsville. Yeah, but if I go to so, like, isn't that like even farther oh, away? No, but you told me you were going to the convention in Austin that weekend. I said, I said let's also go do lunch, but you said no. I wasn't gonna go to Austin. It, I didn't have like the money to go to a con in Austin. I said we could do lunch. You said no. Anyways, I was in Austin just for lunch. It would have to be like an event. Oh my god. Anyways, San Diego Comic Con happened. A bunch of shit came out of it. Okay. Except except okay. for 
Except for like relevant shit, but I don't know. I mean, the only thing that I cared about was Thor Ragnarok. And also, just... we got a new trailer for that, and it was really cool. It was, we got to it was see, great. We got to see a lot of Hella. I'm really looking forward to her. It was to... Hella good. Uh, good, yeah. You mean Rita Hella? Rita... Looking forward to it. Oh, you guys are Hella crazy. dope, even. You mean Rita Repulsa? All right, so that's oh. the end of this podcast, guys. We'll see you next week. Tom, thank you. Thank you. You felt the degenerates. Go on, Tori. Okay, so I'm just going to breeze through the <clears throat> the MCU news. So we got Infinity... They had an Infinity Wars trailer that we don't get to see. Yeah, but we get... So, like, us, like, plebes get to watch the poor quality version of it. But it's pretty hype because Captain America. Oh, he's got a beard, man. He's got a beard and he's got the dark costume. And he has the brown hair. And, oh, okay. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Oh, Well, we also got to see a Defenders trailer. And I'm still looking forward to that. Can't wait. Especially, I can't wait to see Jessica again. I love Jessica. Oh, and Matt and Luke. Basically, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone but Danny. Of everyone else, so I want to see everyone else get together. Oh, and also I like Sigourney Weaver. She's a great actress. She does as the villain. Let's see. And we also had, oh, we had new information on other upcoming movies. They casted their Janet Van Dyne, who plays the Wasp. She will be played by Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh. Is going to be the Wasp. Okay. What if, who was the girl from uh, Ant Man? Hope Van Dyne. That's her daughter. Okay. So they're not. Yeah, cast, her mother. They're, so they're not casting. Um, what's your face as Wasp? Uh, okay, so in Ant Man, you know that the daughter. Yes, Hope. She's gonna be yeah, the Wasp. She's not, okay, but there's gonna be Janet. There Van might Dyne? be two Wasps then. Michelle Pfeiffer is gonna be. Janet Van Dyne. Okay. The fuck, okay I don't know cool. how the fuck they're going to bring her back unless they do something for the microverse, but I, I guess... Okay. We have details on uh, the Captain Marvel movie, and oh. they said they're going to revisit the Quantum Realm, and the main villains are going to be the Scrolls. Also, it's going to take place in the 1990s. Oh, fuck me. Are you serious? Oh boy, '90s fashion. All, all I gotta say is, I really ho do hope they explain the scrolls and not just do like, "Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy." These are the Kree. These are these are the Kree Empire. This is all you need to know. Bye. Because Guardians of the Galaxy Two did a bad job of explaining the Marvel cosmology. Anyways, that's gonna be in the '90s, and hopefully. I know it's not gonna ha I know it's not gonna happen, but I really hope since like you know he is a character from the nineties and all that they have Jack Monroe in it since I really loved that comic series. No. Can't get what you want, Tori. One biker dude with a baby on his motorcycle. No. You're not gonna get that, Tori. Look, if they don't give me Thunderstrike, if they don't give me Thunderstrike, the best iteration of, of Thor, you're not gonna get Jack Monroe. Just keep that disappointment. Keep that keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna have to see, you know, Brie Larson in high waisted shorts, which have made a comeback. I don't know why those were stupid then and they're stupid now. Sorry, Brie I heard Brie Larson. What's going on? Tom Tom's dick just awoke. I like Brie Larson. Uh-huh. She's I, like the, her. I am looking she, forward to seeing her. She's the uh Oh wait, no, Brie, wait, Brie Larson's not the chick from, um, <laughs> she's not the chick from that, she's from Scott Pilgrim, right? She was Scott's sister, right? Uh, oh, she me. was Scott's ex. What? Brie Larson. Band. I feel like yeah, we've she... had this discussion before. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Dick went down again. Oh. <laughs> Tell because... me the oh, you were thinking about Anna Kendrick? Yeah, I was thinking about Anakin. No, I was I was thinking of uh Wasn't Brie Larson the, in that one wrestling Netflix series? The other one where she was uh the the one who swore a lot. 
That's the one I was thinking about. Oh yeah, she's fucking hot. Aubrey Plaza? You're yeah, thinking of Julie? Yeah, Aubrey Plaza. There we go. Oof. Oof. Tom, put a picture of Aubrey Plaza. Thank you. No. She's, she's like top tier waifu, please. No. I don't know. Is it Anyways. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Defenders, Captain Marvel information, Infinity Wars information. Oh, they also showed uh, an Inhumans trailer that literally no one cared about. People did care about it, but it just didn't look good. I want it to be good because I like Medusa, the character, and I like Black Bolt, the character, but it just doesn't translate well on TV, especially what they do with her hair. It, it looks terrible, and but and people are going to get pissy pants about it, but it, as long as Fox owns mutants, we can't get it. Because let's be real for a second. The only reason that they're showcasing Inhumans is because they want to just make them the big, the big, the, the, big, the next big thing. Because right. they can't see mutants, because mutants are going to get a comeback. Mm-hmm. Right, that's true. Mutants are going to get a comeback. Although they have a new show, which is like X Men. It's like they are mutants. It, it's gifted. They're, basically, it's what if mutants existed without mutants actually existing or without an X Men series? Like, what if they existed, but there's no school to come whisk them away? Yeah. Jumping from the other side of the spectrum, we also got a Justice League trailer that just looks subpar. I, I don't I don't have hope for that movie. It looks so super shitty. That movie, that's why I didn't bring it up. Oh, I yeah. didn't put it on the list. No, I'm just saying because I'm a DC fanboy, but fuck. I, I don't know. Like, I'll argue to any day that Wonder Woman is an okay movie. It's it's the best of the it's the best of mediocrity and I just feel like just like gonna sit is gonna it's gonna crash down and burn this franchise again. That's one of those things where we'll just have to see, man. We'll just have to see. Anyways, what else do we got on on the on the San Diego Comic Con side? Now that that finished up, pretty much the comic book stuff. We also got. Some new TV things. Well, some Netflix. We got a new Stranger Things trailer for the second season. Cool. I don't want to hear anything about that. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I want to stay radio silent for that. Hey Arnold. Is it, is it hey Arnold, the Jungle Movie Show at Comic Con? Because I do not know. That. So he's going to go to San Lorenzo, which is the fictional country where his parents disappeared. Spoilers. Probably find his parents. Spoilers. They're dealing Colombian cocaine. And Rocco's Modern Life got a new movie, TV. Well, it's thing. getting like a special. Well, it's that's a cool thing because that was actually the best show in, in the nineties. Well, uh, it was one of the best shows. It, I yeah. think it's. Well, I think it's it definitely is like a, up there. I think I it's like. Mm-hmm. I think it's. I think it's top three. Yeah, Johnny Bravo is definitely it for me. If I'm gonna oh, talk. Oh, okay, about hold it. on. You can't cross streams. I'm saying Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon wise, that was like one of the best ones. Oh. Yeah, because Rugrats was stupid. I don't care what you say. Rugrats is fucking. I liked fun. Rugrats. Rugrats was funny. Was 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 Anchor was Anchor Beavers nineties or two thousand nineties definitely nineties. Because I I will say best nineties series are gonna be Rockers Martin Life. Angry Beavers, and what was the other one? Fuck, I just had to train of that. Hey Arnold, hey Arnold. Yeah. I, you know, I like the aesthetic of Hey Arnold. I never actually liked the show. I think I thought it was a really nice show. It was very down to earth. I never the one series everyone tells me I should I should give another chance that I never liked was Ah Scary Monsters. Ah Real Monsters, dude, that yeah. show was great. That was I didn't I didn't like that as a kid. I just it was okay. I tried I watched it a couple times and it was just on, um, but it wasn't one of my favorites. I thought it was kind of gross, so I never liked it as a kid. That's the point. <laughs> I guess I, I wasn't into that type of like humor as a yeah. kid. Um, so Tori, is that is that all like for Comic Con? What about I have for Comic Con? Yeah. Ryan, you got anything for Comic Con? <laughs> no. For a bunch yeah. Of bitch nerds. <laughs> oh fuck you! You fucking. I think I was fucking... asleep during the whole, that whole conversation. Actually, no, that was a lie. I wasn't asleep. I was watching Dragon Ball. Oh no, Ren Stimpy. That's another good one. Yeah. No, yeah, I suppose. 
Doug was stupid. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, it Doug got better Doug. when it was better when Disney took it over. Disney. Wild well, Thunder uh, was alright. Cat Dog was alright. Cat Dog was alright. Rocket Cat Dog Power. Was no. Slamming. Rocket Power. Rocket Power is fucking dumb. I don't care what anyone says. Rocket I Power. Let's. I enjoyed let's... Rocket Power, but Rocket, Rocket Power. Power. Rocket Power was cute. Rocket well, Power was two thousands though, like early two thousands. Does anyone? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pitch a show. He was know. stupid. I enjoyed it. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna pitch a show, and I I do not remember what the name of it is, but it was, was it, it was League now. Is that the one that was with part the, of Kablam? The stop motion one with yes. the action figures. That's Action League now, and a lot yeah. of people usually. It was an alright show. I oh. love that show. I love the fucking stinking uh, French guy. Kablam! Kablam was definitely one of those shows yes, and one of those exactly. cartoons that I enjoyed I like that to... was like a, a compilation show like that. Well, before it was Oh Yeah Cartoons, where they showed the original uh, Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> yeah, that's where that's where they had a lot of the shorts where if they're good and if Dis- if uh, Nickelodeon likes them, they get picked up for series. So like Fairly Odd Parents was there. My Life as a Teenage Robot was on there. Not on that door. What? I remember those being on there. My Life as a Teenage Robot was on there, wasn't it? That's that was in the two thousands, but I did I liked that show. Yeah, I don't, I don't but I don't think it was on. Um... Kablam! Oh, yeah. No, oh yeah, cartoons. Oh yeah, oh, yeah cartoons. cartoons. Yes, it was. I remember the original short. Oh, it was my neighbor was a teenage robot. That's why. Let's see. So, oh, so they changed the name. Yeah. Switching, uh, switching on the news. Um. Uh, Tom Ryan and I recently got a new game. We recently started playing Final Fantasy XII: The Zodiac Age. I mean, let's let's not call it a new game. Oh, well, it's a new, it's a re, it's a reboot. No, not a reboot. It's, it's, a, it's, a, a, it's a remake. It's an HD remake with balancing and funness. And it's streamlined because fuck. The the only thing streamlined about it is they added the a fast forward button. That's it. And the class and the class system because that. Makes yeah, it, easier. it, it had yeah. classes earlier. It did. It, but it, did. it didn't make it easier. All right, it just gave you different. It makes uh, everything more clear because well, back wait. then, so Final Fantasy twelve. If anyone's ever played this, it is otherwise known Life as system. Final Final Fantasy Star Wars because that that's what it is. It had the dashing rogue character with his furry sidekick and the kid who was new to the whole concept of the grand universe and whatever. The only thing is, you can fuck your And the princess. You can can fuck your furry side companion. I mean, nothing stopped you from fucking Chewie. I mean, he's a big burr man. I don't want to... So? Bird? Wait, hold on. Back up. Burr man. Burr. Burr. I mean, like burr. Like a burr man. What does that mean? Like burr man. He's a burr man. He's a bear. Dog man, I don't. I don't want to get in there. I don't want that hairy dog. He's saying bear, but he's saying bear. like he's. He's saying it was a bear. Bird man. Okay. Um. I, I'm still hearing bird. Bird. Bird man. Um. The new improvements to the game include a fast forward system and the zodiac system, which got introduced to make everything somewhat easier. Although it doesn't tell you that once you invest, you can un- uninvest. So uh, it actually does tell you that. It's like right. It's like before you could do anything. It's like once you chose this, you can't change your mind later. I didn't pay attention. I was busy. You need to pay attention. I was busy entertaining my stream. How dare you? Um, that is a poor excuse. You're a terrible that, streamer. Terrible streamer. Do you think people go to my stream for quality? How dare you? They should. No, you go there for the memes. There's um, no memes. There's plenty of memes. Your uh, life so is the, a meme, a shit uh, meme. I mean, it is. My life's a Harambe meme. Anyways, uh, that game got reintroduced. It's pretty good. It's it's not a. It was never a bad game. It just the main character sucks. I I think. Hey, that, he wasn't bad. Man's not a good character though, because he gets. Sure written, is. He gets written out. Okay, like you brought up, he can, you can do the entire story without Van, and it still makes sense. Yeah. If it's you made this, still if you made, our character. If you made Bash of Dalmasca the can, the main character, you Captain could probably Bash from Dalmasca. Oh, you're Don't right. Don't believe Captain, Andor's lies. You could, if you made Captain Bash the main character, it would have worked just as well. Or if you made 
uh, Balt, Baltier, or even Baltier the Protag, would have worked just as well. But, John. Um, what? I'm Captain Bash from Domasca. Fuck off. I don't believe under his lies. Uh. It's pretty good. I'm streaming that game on my side at twitch.tv slash blacknaffle101. I'm just gonna, just gonna plug that there. Thank you. Uh, I'm Unplug, streaming it. From, Unplug it. I'm streaming that game from beginning to end. Uh, aside from that, I mean, it's just interesting. It's a funny thing about this game. It's actually based off the European version, which introduced the Zodiac system. So. The Final Fantasy XII was dumb. No, it's not. You're it, dumb. It, it, Your face is dumb. dumb. You probably like Final Fantasy XIV. I, okay. I don't. I, I like Final Fantasy XIV. I don't. I stopped playing Final Fantasy after X2 because I was like, man, this is dumb. And I stopped playing. And then Final Fantasy XI, wasn't that the online one? Yeah. Eleven was online. Uh, yeah, I didn't, have, I didn't have any online. So And then I played twelve, and I was like, man, this is dumb. And then I played You're thirteen, dumb. and I was like, man, this is dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. Then I played X Lightning Two Returns and Thirteen Two. I was like, that was dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, I was like Final was Fantasy dumb. Fourteen. I was like, I don't like MMOs. And Fifteen. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Fifteen was good. I still haven't finished it yet. Me, neither have I. I want my excuse for not finishing it because I heard about that huge plot hole that was in Chapter Thirteen. And they were planning on fixing it. And I was like, okay, I'll just wait till that's done. And then that was like in March, and I still haven't got around to being it. And now yeah. I hear that they're doing like a Super Sentai mech suit costumes, and I was yeah. like, oh man, I gotta wait for that shit. They weren't. Uh, they weren't gonna release it. They, they weren't gonna. So it, they weren't gonna release it. But then they were like, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. Let's see so, if let's see if that that asshole Saban will sue us because I want. Okay. I hope that Saban tries to throw a cease and desist and then uh, Squeenix takes it to court because, uh, you know, it's Super Sentai, not Well, I Rangers. mean, think a, Squeen a Square Enix can take it, but also they'd have to fight with Toei. Because Toei I'm, owns the I'm, Toei. I'm like 90% sure that they've, prob they've got approval for that. And plus, Japan don't give a fuck. Yeah, but, but the thing is, like, Saban would try to claim it as his own, where Toy oh, yeah, would be could. like, Sab it's Saban actually ours? Saban but, is fucking yeah. stupid. He is. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, I didn't really get into 12. I was like, man, this is this is just... I hated the battle system, so I was like, man, I'm oh, yeah. happy. The, the battle system in this game is terrible. It's not terrible. Know. I it, no it, it, you it, just it, don't know how to use the gambit system, John. No, no, no. I know how to use gambits now. I, I, I played a little bit, but no. I'm saying the targeting system is bad. Yeah, that's what I don't like about I don't, it. I don't know no, why. The, it's no, like no, you, no. you, you target, target that guy there. Yeah, no, but it, it's it's like, okay, it, it it's more... It's I think this game is one of the only games for the Final Fantasy series that inspired the future games that having more of an active combat system. Yeah, I hate ATVs. Because it's instead of because I think in ten it seven, was seven it started it no five seven. five it started and then five started uh, and then seven six, kind of like seven no seven was turn based no seven Still had was ATVs. active time battle yeah I that's, thought it, that's, I thought where it's, that's where it kind of got more popularized at seven because it was in the three D. I thought it, seven was. I thought I thought seven was considered more turn based because you still had no. the, 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 the no. like the front the row combat. You you do have the row combat, but the thing is, is like you're not. It, it's not. It's it's not it's, turn based. It's not. It, it's active. Turn okay. Based. Okay. It still I, has the ATV timer. I'll, I'll, I'll give you yeah, that. I, I, what I, I'm getting at is that twelve inspired more of like you can move, fluidly move throughout the whole. Arena. Yeah, I don't like that. I I like Chrono Trigger, but I that it worked for Chrono. Yeah, Trigger but but they kind of used shows. that with in fifteen, but made that a lot better. Yeah, because yeah. it plays more like a more like a platinum game rather than anything. I mean, like a just watered down platinum game, like super watered. I just hold the uh, hold square. You know, oh, I'm fighting. <laughs> yeah. Look at the candles. So yeah, this I game's mean, pretty it's, good. It's, it's more satisfying. Um, I mean, it is game. super more satisfying to play 15. 15's gone better over 12. Yeah. Oh yeah, 15's a whole lot better, but but, but, 15, but, fi but 15's not complete still. Yeah. Because they're supposed to yeah. launch more DLC to finish that game, and I'm like, why, why the fuck are they making a mobile? Why do they make a mobile game? By the way? It's, I mean, to make money. My girlfriend plays it. Yeah, I don't. 
it's it's more remember them old browser games where you like build an army type browser games and it's like okay i'm gonna send my guys out to your castle like facebook games no no before facebook games Uh Cause I uh, remember there was this one are game that like, are I. Are you talking like Clash of Clans type deal? Does this no, you fuck. Does that have mini buys in it? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. You can like buy packs of like resources and such. That's what got me off that stupid Final Fantasy mobile game. I was playing it for a while, then I was like, man, this sucks because I can't get anything I want, and I have to play like considerable amount of hours mm. to get what I want. I, I just wanted the, the uh, uh, what's her face the fucks that girl from that that show with Sam from uh, Ariana Grande. Oh, just, okay. Oh, Sam and Cat. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted her. And the only amount of money that my girlfriend put in it is like twenty bucks, and that's fine. I mean, it's like twenty bucks. That's how much you'd buy a video game for. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in like. Well, I'm like the same the guy that buys like loot boxes every time there's a fucking Overwatch event. But I don't yeah, like. I mean, yeah, it's like you and me. Like, it, you know, it, it's I, more. I, it's I, more like it's more cos. Like the thing is cosmetic. I'm fine with buying, but like the thing of like you need like certain characters to get like a more efficient kind of thing. Like, I, I don't know why like. I understand. I understand the concept of like drip feeding people to get content to keep them playing, but like, man, I was playing Bejeweled on on <laughs> fucking mobile because like I want a good like puzzle game for when I take a shit and I just pull out my phone. And that's what I do. I just download a bunch of like mobile games. I like have like a day where I just download like fifty. Get a cheap three DS and get like Puzzle Fighter. Yeah, but something. like. I want I want to give a mobile a chance at least, because like I own like now I own like what six copies of Final Fantasy four now because of fucking mobile, <laughs> which we should we should play that I should play that game. But anyways, I just I just don't agree with like a lot of these games now where it's just like hey let's have fifty million ads and like have like cooldown timers and. And like, oh hey, do you want this to be? Do you want to fucking make this cool armor that you're gonna like need to advance the game? Oh yeah, just wait like twenty minutes. Well, you know what? At least Fire Emblem Fates does not have that. Fire Emblem yeah. Heroes does not. Have it. It's a good game all in all. I mean, it's not. It's fun. It's it's. Uh, it's I'd rather play an actual Fire, uh, Fire Emblem game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Ryan on that. Like, I, I mean, wish. The I, I mean, like. I've already explained how I feel about it when it first came out. Yeah, it's still it's still fun. I I, I like it, but like you know, I I, like... I I can understand why you think it's fun, John, because it's baby mode Fire Emblem. I mean, I I don't play baby mode. I just like the game because waifus. You can get waifus with regular Fire Emblem games. Yeah, but I can get my waifus. I want Tiki in that bikini. This game punishes me all the time. Bullshit. Wait, isn't Tiki the lolly? No, Tiki's um, adult Tiki. There's adult Tiki. Please stop. I'm um, put the put the image of the, the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a picture of this character. Uh, there's adult Tiki in a bikini. Uh-huh. I swear. I swear. I swear. Tiki. Christ. Tiki. T-I. Tiki's a, okay. Tiki's from the from Fire Emblem. Oh, Earth. Path of Radiance. And there's a she Tiki looks comes, like that character from Path of Radiance. And then Tiki comes out back in Fire Emblem Awakening with Tiggle Biddies. Uh-huh. Yeah, but she wears a bikini, and it's like I want her because her weapon's called the Melon oh, yeah. Smasher. Awakening, she's she is in fact an adult. Yeah, I want her. I want my wife and my team. I'm so I'm so I'm still gonna put you with like the lolly girl. Well, you know what? This game punishes me because every time I summon, I keep on pulling it. I keep on pulling Naoi, the the lolly character from Awakening, and I'm like, please stop. So. Either way, fire emblems them. On that note, folks, I think this is it for the this is it for the podcast. Um, folks, this is it for the podcast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends. You can reach. You can see all of our content at thecommunitycast.com. dot uh, com. We have a public Discord, and if you want to join it, just click on the link down below, and you can be hanging out with me, Tom, and Tori, and Ryan. 
I mean, my saying I'm proud of you. Anyways, uh, you can reach us all. You can reach us all on Twitter. All the links will be down below. We also we also stream. All the links we put down below on there. Uh, on that note, folks, uh, good night. King Kai was watching the whole good time. Night. Mr. Popo knows all. <laughs>